I'm your host, Zuri Flower. Thank you for joining me on this positive Thursday, the funny side of life, episode 39. Taking your positive, excuse me, everyone, taking your power back. That is going to be today's positive Thursday, everyone. Topic. Hello again, everyone. I want to say again, thank you listeners for joining me every uh, Positive Thursday and also for the new people that's tuning in today. I also want to thank you for joining me on this Positive Thursday. Have there been anything in your life that you lost or made a mistake of doing that made you feel like giving up on your life or just criticizing yourself from past mistakes? you have made. I can truly relate to each one of you listeners. Back in 2016, I sold my beautiful home that I owned for eight years. It had a beautiful in-ground pool, four bedrooms, four baths. And I know y'all probably wondering, that sounds like that was a beautiful home and why in the hell did I sell it? During that time, I felt like it was the best decision I made. It was a lot to keep up with. And the main reason why I purchased the home, it was so my kids could have a better life and go to a good school. I thought I was going to save a lot of money by selling the house. But in reality, I lost more money by moving into a smaller a smaller rental property. <laughs> it took me a while to take my power back from the bad decision I made by selling my home. I have a question to ask each one of you listeners. When you think about taking your power back, where is one of the biggest mistakes you made in a situation you had to go through? And then towards the end, you got your power back by building your self-esteem back up and getting self-respect from people who hurt at you. Taking your power back is more than just wondering why me, like you're a victim. But in reality,